Alright, so it was 4 a.m. and well, no one sleeps that early and as usual, I was just watching some YouTube during that time and for some reason, my mom was still awake. Anish, it's 4 in the morning! Then she kept shouting and shouting and shouting and that's when I realized I'm never ever going to get caught again like this. So that's why we're going to be making a detector which tells me when my parents are going to come to my room. All right, so here's how we're going to split our project. Now we're going to split it up into two parts. Our first part is going to be to come up with some sort of way to detect motion to know when my parents are actually coming. And the second part is going to be to send me some sort of signal so that I know that they're coming. And then I can just grab <laughs> my phone and go back to fake sleeping. So how are we going to go about to solve part one, which is to find the motion. And in the beginning, I was thinking of building some sort of motion detector using OpenCV. But using a camera at night is just completely useless. So my second plan was to get a motion detector and just use that. But I didn't have one, I had to go out and buy one, I didn't, do, I didn't want to do all of that. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Now that's when I found out about this one sensor which I already luckily had. So let's take a quick look at it. This over here is the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. So let me just show you how this actually works and how can we actually find distance using this. This sensor has two transducers. We have one which transmits and one which receives ultrasonic sound waves. So our transmitter is going to give out these sound waves and let's say an object is detected then in that case we're going to get a reflection back of those ultrasonic sound waves which is caught by the receiver. In order to calculate our distance, we're first going to divide our total duration by two because we only want the time taken to go to one side. Then we're going to multiply that with the speed of ultrasonic sound waves and then we get our direction. Okay, so we uploaded our code onto our Arduino over here. And then we connected that to the sensor and I just taped the sensor here and let's see how it works. I'm going to put an object at the one foot mark and one feet is nothing else but 30 centimeters. Okay, so if you can see, uh, so this is the setup we have and just so you notice the sensors are not exactly starting from zero centimeters. Keeping that in mind, let's see what value we're getting. So this is the serial monitor. And we're getting 29 to 28 centimeters. And that's actually more than accurate considering that our sensor is not exactly at zero centimeters. One last and final thing I did is I imported this data onto Python. So now when I run this, all the data comes over here. And let's say it does detect any motion. So I'm gonna put my hand over it now. And in that case, it's gonna say object detected and it's gonna end the program. And if you ask me, that's a wow, 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 it's a very nice. Now we're able to detect motion. And so now we can move on to the second part, which is trying to f come up with some way which tells me that my parents are coming. So the first idea I thought of is to send myself a message. But the truth is my phone is on silent for the most part. And if not, my notifications are off regardless. So that honestly doesn't even make any sense. But what does make sense is, this light behind me is on for the most part in my room. I'm going to try to switch this light off when my parents are coming. So how am I going to do that? So to do that, I have this smart switch over here. So how this works is, using the internet, you can turn it on or off. So I'm sure uh, there's some sort of way that we can do that using Python. And indeed, there was a way to control the switch using Python. So I found this uh, really simple module called PyWemo and it's really nice in the fact that you can control all Wemo devices using just a couple lines of code. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to implement this onto our existing program and see how that works with the sensor. This is going to be our final version of this project. So we have the lamp over here and the lamp is connected to our smart plug. 
And so this is a sensor and just look at this. Turn it. So all I'm doing is every time it senses motion, it's going to toggle between on and off. Wow. For our final program, instead of having the light toggle between on and off, what we're going to do is we're going to just switch it off once and then we're just going to quit the entire program. Introducing the one and only parent detector. Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't think of a better name. Anyways, let's see this bad boy in action. I know, this guy must be still loving. What? He actually slept off? Epic Gamer Moves, bro.